This year we travelled to Riga in Latvia and it was all we could have wished for and more. Today we show you all the things to do, food to eat and show off this wonderful place in Europe. This is our things to do in Riga, Latvia. First up we head to Vekriga, which is the historical old town of Riga. I think Riga is like a fairy tale town. It's whimsical, it's cute. We recommend just taking a walk and marvel at the beautiful architecture. While taking in the surroundings, make sure to stop by Three Brothers. So it's snowing here in Old Town, it's really cold. These three buildings here we got to are so pretty and the middle one's a museum as well and I really like how the right one is leaning, it's cool. The three houses are some of the oldest dwellings in Riga and they each represent different periods of time. Another really interesting building close by is known as the Cat House. The funny thing um, that you find when you're traveling in different cities is that every city has its unique little features and we just stopped by to this beautiful building and it's known as the Cat House and it's because it's got two little statues of cats right at the top perched just above and it's just really cute and interesting. I think the architecture here in Riga is pretty unique. So I think it's a really good idea just to wander around cities, check out the architecture but really look closely at all the intricacies on the buildings because they can be quite unique and quite cool. You look at this building but then you look a bit closer up and you suddenly see these like haunting faces on there like popping out of the building. It's very Ghostbusters. <laughs> Looking for a cheap delicious meal? Come to Sef Pavar's Wilhelms. We're here at another Cheap Eats and it's so good it was only 5 euros for both of us. For both of us. Both of us. Look. Got a little salad and a pancake. I decided to have a vegetarian meal today. So mushroom pancake. It's really yummy. This mushroom tastes like um, lentils. Mm. Mm. We then headed off to Riga Nativity of Christ Cathedral. It's an amazing structure standing tall in the middle of the city. It's the largest Orthodox church in the Baltics and was built in the 1800s. So amazing. It really reminds me of the pictures that you see of like St. Petersburg and more kind of Russian architecture. So when I went to have a look um, when you go inside this building, it looks like they had quite a bit of restrictions. So you couldn't wear shorts, you had to have a head covering, no photos, no pets obviously. Apparently this market's actually Europe's largest market and it looks like it could be, it looks big. massive. But one thing, another thing is massive, well, seagulls. The seagulls were pretty big here. <laughs> they were this big. That was so big. 40 cents avocado, that's new to me, that's so cheap, it's like one under one dollar avocado. I really like markets. I think I like the vibes. You know, like there's so many people buzzing around the shops. Sometimes you find the cheap restaurants too. Not all the time because they know there are so many customers. They put the prices high. This coffee shop is so cheap. 40 cents for a coffee compared to the usual two, 250 euro. Pretty good. It smells good in here, nice and fresh. This place is huge actually, you just keep finding new rooms with so much food and fruit and fish and meat and just everything. House of the Blackheads is a must-see landmark when you're here in Latvia. Oh, I've been wanting to see this building, House of the Blackheads. Look at this, how beautiful, wow!
always people are on top of buildings. There are four women there. We came here during sunset and the view was truly spectacular. With the lights shining on the buildings and the Roland statue in the middle of the square, symbolizing freedom and justice, this place is a must visit here in Riga. The original building was erected in the 14th century but was later bombed during the war and so was reconstructed in the 90s. Latvian people in Riga, they seem very hip, very trendy. They like cafes and clothes, they, they like a fashion. And um, it makes sense that those trendy areas always have a burgers, good burger joints. Mm. We'll see if it is good though. Mm. You asked for medium and you got mm. really good. That's the thing. I've never ever had this question. Do you want your burger rare, medium or well done? Mm. And I was like, doesn't it need to be always well done? <laughs> but anyway, I always usually prefer rare for any steak. But this time I was like, it's burger, so medium. Might be okay. Yeah. Mm. What do you think? It's quite fresh mm. ingredients, I thought. Can it's yummy, yeah. It tastes like a really like homemade. Head to the Latvian National Opera for another gorgeous building in the city centre. Literally in the centre of town, between Old Town and the other town. And it's really, I like it because it's really straight. The Freedom Monument is a memorial honouring soldiers killed during the War of Independence. It stands 42 metres high and it is a striking structure standing in the centre of Riga. Very cheap, very simple vegetarian mushroom soup. But when they said the mushroom soup, I thought it's gonna be a creamy mushroom soup. I didn't expect it to be very like a, a bit watery. That's a little bit of a question shock because whenever I imagine mushroom soup, creamy. Chicken soup, um, watery. But you know, it works differently in this city. Mm. Oh, it's good. Perfect for winter. It's so good. Mm. And only two euros too, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Definitely the cheapest place we've ever gone to in Riga. The Riga Cathedral is another beautiful landmark to add to your list, and you'll find it in the old town square. Welcome to Winter Wonderland! <laughs> oh, look at that, it's so pretty! The parks are absolutely gorgeous, and in winter, it truly is a winter wonderland. You know what, actually? I could do the, the famous eternal sunshine scene. Ah, uh, yeah. This one, really? Oh, you're not going to do it, are you? I'm doing it! Ah! That's crazy! Isn't it this one? Yeah! <laughs> That's nuts! Uh, Rachel Winslet! Rachel Winslet? Oh! Oh, it's too cold to do this! Yeah, that's stuff. crazy! I can't believe you're doing that! Ah, but you know what? I'm fine! I'm fine to do... Oh! Where, where's my angel mark? There's your, there's Rachel's angel. Oh, do you know what? It's pretty successful. It's actually pretty good. There are cute bridges crossing over the water and at night this place is just as beautiful. Beautiful, so beautiful, peaceful. Pretty. Big. Quite big with a salad. That's all I need. It's pretty good. When you're um, when you're a YouTuber, you always have to get a bit less portions. That's the YouTuber life. I'm curious how Lido looks like in summer because we came to Riga when it's festive season. But so you see those like trees and 
look very Christmassy. Yeah. And, and even the, the food is very um, wintry. So imagine their summer menu is quite different. So it's if you come to Riga, definitely try out a Lido. 